Hello everybody, welcome back. I figured it was about time to do a channel update video. It's kind of been a long time coming. There's a lot of different things that I wanna talk about here today. I guess you could just put this video on in the background. It's gonna be unlike my usual content because usually I edit the crap out of things. Um, I tend to be a bit of a perfectionist, but in this case, this is gonna be just a simple one this week. I just wanted to kind of give an update on everything related to the channel, what's been going on in the past while, and what my future plans are. And so to start things off, let's do a quick recap. I started this channel in 2016. Um, so it's been about four years since then. And in that span of time, I've both had full-time jobs and also not had full-time jobs over the course of making content for this channel. And so it's been pretty inconsistent. Obviously when I haven't had a job, I've made a lot more content. And when I've had a full-time job, it's been a lot harder for me to do so. And um, as of last November, I have had a full-time job again, hence the uh, delays in content and everything. And so far with this year, there have not been too many videos that I've put out, which is unfortunate, but that's just kind of what happens. Because I tend to be kind of a perfectionist with everything, I usually don't just slap out content, you know, even though I probably should, to be honest, because even a lot of the videos that I spend a lot of time and effort working on, I don't end up liking later. You know, I think a lot of YouTubers are, are kind of like that anyway. So I really should just probably spam out videos and not really care as much. Um, but I just, I just can't do it. I can't bring myself to do that. And you know, as much as it is kind of a Lucky Crit meme that, uh, you know, there's other members of Lucky Crit that nobody knows about behind the scenes, it, at the end of the day, it really is just me. And for a long time, I've taken a lot of pride in that fact because I think it takes a lot of very different skills to be able to run a YouTube channel and do everything that you need to do to make it work. Um, a lot of other YouTubers, even in this community itself, have other people that help them out with their content, whether it's, you know, reviewing their scripts or making them thumbnails, anything like that, editing their videos too. And I've kind of put off all of that kind of stuff for a long time now and just done it myself. You know, in a lot of ways, I just think that it's an accomplishment for myself to be able to say, hey, I did all of this. But it's also, I think at this point, becoming kind of a detriment to the channel in that I'm not very consistent with the content. And I think that's what's been missing for a very, very long time with this channel. Because I think if I was a more consistent creator, um, everything would work out a lot better and folks would know to tune in more often. Um, I would just maintain things a lot better and that's kind of been the biggest challenge over the past four years with this channel. So I've kind of also put off, you know, hiring an editor and other folks like that. It's been something that I've been thinking about and mulling over for a long time now. There's always been something kind of weird to me about the relationship between like a YouTuber and their editor though. I don't, I don't like the whole like, you know, symbiotic relationship that tends to happen between the two entities where it's like, you know, people are, I guess, getting cloud off of each other or it just, it becomes weird, you know? And I just kind of wanted the focus to always just be on whatever I'm talking about in the videos and the channel itself. And um, especially if I have an idea in my head of how a video should be or how the edits should be, it's kind of hard to just give that to somebody else and let them do it and let them come up with whatever it's going to be. Uh, but I think at this point, I do have a candidate in mind, somebody that I'm going to uh, experiment with having them edit some content for me. Someone who I'm very, very grateful for. And I think it's going to circumvent some of that stuff that I was talking about. So um, we'll see how that goes. And uh, hopefully it will lend to more content coming out in the near future, which I'd be pretty excited about. And, you know, just resuming at a, at a better schedule bare minimum a video a week because I haven't even done that. It's been kind of like a video a month for the past while, which just isn't, it's, it's horrible. It's not good. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about too is that last fall was a pretty terrible time in a lot of ways uh, for me, for my personal life, for this channel. It kind of honestly started with the launch of Three Houses. And uh, we had such an amazing time in the lead up to the game, talking about all the news, all the content like that. Uh, that was probably one of the best summers I've had, you know, in terms of this channel and how many of you guys tuned into those videos and stuff. So that part was amazing. Um, but then I, I think I really should have just streamed me playing the game because I think the fact that I did a Let's Play was kind of a big mistake in that it delayed me actually playing through the entire game, which wasn't good. Because uh, Let's Play stuff, technically you could record a lot of it in a single day. Um, but as time went on, even though I did that in the beginning, as time went on I got extremely busy and uh, it just became harder and harder to do it. And it becomes kind of a, a weird thing where it's like, I know that I need to turn on the camera and I'm on camera and I know that I'm talking and trying to entertain people while I play. 
and you almost kind of dread it after a while. You know, it's it's not the same as just playing through content. Uh, you know, like picking up your your phone and playing some Fire Emblem Heroes or something by yourself. It, it takes on a whole different life that I think makes it harder and and less fun ultimately, um, which kind of stinks because I do think Let's Plays are fun in a sense. It's always great to interact with the community and the audience and stuff, but uh, there's there's some weird stuff about that that I've never kind of grasped properly. And uh, you know, Let's Plays in general are also not as popular on YouTube these days, and that's fine. Uh, when I made the Three Houses Let's Play that I wanted to do. I knew the views would be a lot smaller. You guys don't usually come to this channel for that kind of stuff, and that's fine. It's not what I've done, you know, for years now. So um, I wasn't really concerned about that too much. I, I didn't really care too much about the views. But the problem is that YouTube didn't really see it that way. And that's not something that I considered beforehand. Those videos, those Let's Play videos, actually hurt the performance of the channel. And in fact, even to this day, I don't think it's quite recovered from all of that damage that I did by putting out that content. And I think that that's because I had so many videos that were just hit after hit after hit, uh, you know, at least 20K views. Um, you know, I had some older videos that did amazing numbers too. And it was just like, at least I had a pretty consistent trend of, you know, highly edited videos, videos that people like to watch and videos that a lot of people would end up seeing. The algorithm treated them really well. But because I started doing only Let's Play stuff last fall, all of that changed, and YouTube got very, very angry with Lucky Crit. Um, so it kind of changed things, and it's definitely made it a lot harder for me to want to continue to do that. Now, I did film a lot more of that playthrough. In fact, pretty much all of it. There's still a little bit more that I need to do, but I don't know if it's right to upload them, or at least I need to figure out a strategy to do that. Maybe I need to put out, you know, like the trivia video I put out recently, which you can check out up here if you want to see that, if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but those are fun to do too, but they take a lot of time and effort and research. And even still, because I don't have a script team and folks like that to look through it, sometimes I end up with some mistakes that I'm pretty disappointed with later, uh, which stink. But maybe I need to put the Let's Play content around videos like that. Uh, I think that's probably maybe the way to go about it. The problem then becomes, you know, first off, it's almost been a year since the game has been out. Do people still even want to see uh, hard, classic Blue Lions Let's Play? I don't know. But on top of that, would I even get through it? And how long would it take me to get through it? Because I was only about 20-something episodes in before, and there's plenty of content left to still go through. So uh, something's going to have to be done with that. I'm going to consider whether or not that's what I want to do. I hate leaving things unfinished on this channel. I really do. But... Uh, I need to mull it over more because I can't just spam out those videos like daily or at least I don't know maybe, maybe there comes a point in time where you've done it so much that YouTube just accepts that these are your numbers now and uh, begins to like you again slowly but surely and you build up differently that way I don't know I guess I went through a weird transition period where YouTube used to like my long form content or whatever or you know the highly edited stuff that got shared a lot and then I switched to something completely different and it just didn't like the shell shock of that. I'm not sure, uh, but that was kind of the big problem with that. So be sure to let me know in the comments if you are interested in seeing the continuation and finishing of the Blue Lions Let's Play on this channel. The other thing that made that difficult too, on top of you know the lack of views and the hurt to the channel, was I actually edited those Let's Plays. You know, I wasn't just slapping them up on YouTube either because like I said, it's... I find it very, very difficult to do that, even though they weren't even particularly like that edited or even that cut down, because sometimes I have some issues with brevity and stuff like that, you know, I, I tend to make them longer than they need to be. Um, maybe an editor would help me in that sense too. But yeah, I was spending a lot of time editing that content for very little return in terms of views and also actual pain and hurt and uh, bad things happening to the channel as a result. So it was kind of just a perfect storm of, like, not good stuff going on. But I guess it was a learning experience, and now I'll know later on, you know, should we get future Fire Emblem games, I think I'm just going to stream it the first time. <laughs> and that way I could get through it quickly and, uh, and see where it goes from there. Also, you know, streaming has been pretty difficult here, too. I'm actually living with my family. I have been for a very long time now. There's been a couple opportunities for me to move out and get my own place, and ultimately that's really what I'm excited to do. But my family is trying to move and to sell this house uh, and move elsewhere. 
and they've kind of needed my help and it really feels good to be able to give back finally. Um, so that's kind of where I've been stuck and unfortunately it's been a kind of a long transitionary period for me here and it's made it very difficult not only to stream but also to make content because you know there's people around. I actually what I need is a studio and so wherever I go next I definitely need to make sure that I have an entire room dedicated just to making YouTube videos, a place that I can soundproof. I think that would be like a really, really amazing thing. And I think that would eliminate some of the obstacles that I have when it comes to just making videos in general. Uh, Cause some of the things like that just really, you know, if you hear people like talking loudly or yelling in the background, it's like very demotivating to actually working and, and doing what you're trying to do. Um, it almost just seems silly at that point to record a video. So that's kind of been what's going on over the past little while uh, with me. Also, the internet speeds aren't great over here. I actually paid extra monthly to double our plan in terms of internet speeds, and it's still garbage. We don't have fiber or anything where I'm at. Um, so hopefully whatever town I end up going to, I need to make sure that they have hopefully better internet packages, which is pretty hard to do because there's a lot of monopolies when it comes to the uh, ISPs in this state. So I gotta figure that out too, but it hasn't been great for internet either. I've never been satisfied with my stream quality uh, because if I bump it up too high, I start getting those hitches, which is really annoying. And otherwise then it's too low quality. And then I hate having to like use and grab that footage later and have it just be like gross looking. Um, yeah, so I gotta figure out something with that too. That might have to wait a little bit, but that kind of explains why I really haven't streamed as much because if I did have that separate space, if I did have the better internet, I'm sure I would be excited and stoked to stream a lot more often. Um, so hopefully in the coming days that will become more of a possibility, but that's kind of why that hasn't happened so far. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk about though is future content and what my future plans are. You might've seen on Twitter, I did make a tweet about the continuation and the completion of the rest of the Anime North series. Um, I'm pretty excited to get back to the, some of those videos. There's at least enough content for, I want to say like three episodes left for that series. And I know, you know, it wasn't the best performing series on this channel or anything, but some of you guys really loved that content because it's just so different than what anybody else is able to do just because of what it took to put it all together. And, you know, it took all the personalities of everybody else and that event from that weekend. Um, so I would be excited to get back to it. The truth is, uh, last fall, you know, it, this happened last summer, of course, in the end of May. And then after everybody went home after Anime North, I proceeded to spend like the next month or two pretty much just hunkering down, editing a lot of that footage, trying to figure out like what I wanted to do with it, how I wanted the series to, to be and, and what the feel of it would be. And then Three Houses came out and I kind of took a break from it, which made sense, of course. Everybody was so excited about the game, myself included. Um, and then I promised to get back to it last September. I made a whole secondary trailer and stuff for it too. And I was really ready to go back to it. And then just a bunch of stuff happened that made me super demotivated when it came to that series. I think a good amount of us expected there to be a little bit more lasting bonds and friendship from that event because we had such an amazing weekend. I feel like everybody had a blast there. And unfortunately it kind of just seemed like most people just kind of went back to their old lives after and it wasn't really the case. And with some of the things that happened last fall, I just, I didn't even want to reach out to people to get their approval for those videos, which is what I need to do, right? Like I can't just take footage that I shot of people and just put it up, it's, it's not right. So I have to make sure that everybody reviews the footage and they're cool with it before I put it out. And last fall, I just, I didn't even want to message people and, and ask them to do that. Uh, but at this point, I think, with the situation happening in the world right now and everything, I think those videos, especially because conventions are gonna be hard to come by this year, I think a lot of you guys would love to see that and kind of be reminded of that and uh, hopefully get you excited for future years where we can do stuff like that again, unlike 2020, which has turned out to be a little bit of a mess. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to get back to that. So you can expect that in the near future, wrapping up that series. I hope you've enjoyed like the trivia videos and other stuff that I've been working on over the past while. I know a lot of you really, really want uh, Black Eagle student guides and Golden Deer student guides and even like DLC classes guides because I haven't talked about those. Um, if I do, I am planning on continuing those series. It just takes a lot of work for me to script out that whole video like that, talking about like pretty much everybody's class options. It's a lot. It's, it's daunting sometimes to think about writing the scripts for that stuff. 
but I do want to do it. I know it's going to help you guys, and I know a lot of you really liked the Blue Lions one that I did. And so I think what I'm going to do is basic guides for the other students and the other houses. And then what I'll do is a DLC classes guide where we discuss characters we already talked about in the other videos and say, hey, this character is good in this class. Because I don't really want to corrupt the base guides with DLC classes in case, you know, people don't buy the DLC or anything. So I think that's the way to do that. I'd also like to make more content related to Three Houses in general. So uh, that's something that I would really, really like to do as well. And we'll get there. Uh, it's just going to take me figuring things out and deciding what I want to work on next. I've always wanted to go back to making more Fire Emblem Echoes content. There were so many guides that I still wanted to make for that game. It, it doesn't really make any sense anymore. I don't, I don't think the viewership would really be there. But just for completion's sake and just to talk about the things that I didn't talk about, there's still a part of me that wants to do that. And there's even guides that I made before for Echoes that I'm really not satisfied with at all that I would probably change a lot and tweak and improve. So maybe there's value in that. I'm not sure. As for the other series on this channel, um, if you look at actually my most popular videos, about half of them are not Fire Emblem related, which is kind of cool. Um, Lucky Crit did not start off as a solely Fire Emblem based channel. I always did want to talk about Fire Emblem, but there's also other games that I've also been super passionate about and really excited about growing up with. Stuff like Golden Sun and Advance Wars, and that's why I made those videos about those games. And so I would still definitely like to continue that series and keep talking about older games like that. There's a lot of games that I've always meant to be talking about that I have not. Uh, the Tales series is something that I want to talk about at some point. But as far as the other series in terms of the old games that I really love, um, I would love to talk about like Yggdra Union, like Riviera, a whole bunch of like cool Game Boy Advance era stuff. Final Fantasy Tactics is a huge one. Uh, Tactics Advance at least, because I didn't play the original unfortunately. Um, but yeah, things like that I would be super excited to make videos about and talk about eventually when we get there. We'll see what happens. Fire Emblem Heroes has been incredibly difficult for me to keep up with, as you could probably tell. There's new stuff to talk about in the game like every single week. Um, my interest in it has grown and faded over time. It kind of has a cycle to it. But I've, I'm still enjoying the game. I think for me the value in it is... Focusing on characters that I really like and making them better and getting them premium skills and stuff. Uh, I think that's where like the true value is for me at least. And that's what keeps me going in Heroes. I would like to do more stuff with Heroes too. So we'll just have to see. I mean, maybe with hiring an editor and getting other folks behind the scenes to help out with stuff, it could be a possibility and could be easier for me to make more content. Uh, or I might just have to let go a little bit of the perfectionism and just release more stuff in general and maybe that will you know make it things better and maybe you guys won't miss the overly edited stuff anyway who knows we'll have to see how that goes with that i think the last topic that i wanted to talk about as well in this video is the 50,000 subscriber special that's i mean i've been stuck at this subscriber amount for a long time you might have noticed I should have hit it a long time ago, but the channel has been extremely stagnant with the lack of content, and so it's been extremely disappointing and kind of demotivating for me. Um, but I've also had a lot of other stuff going on, like like I said, the full-time job. Um, I started a brand new relationship within the past handful of months, and so that's been a, a big focus too that I've been really excited about. Um, but you know, it's just very difficult to juggle and balance all these things and not let somebody down at the end of the day. And that's still something that I'm kind of working on and, and trying to figure out because I've never been great at that either. Some of you might not know, but I actually went to school for art, uh, illustration specifically. And most of the jobs that I've had after school have been graphic design related jobs. Um, right now I'm in instructional design actually, so I design like learning materials and courses and stuff like that at this point. But the point I want to make is I'm more of a creative type of person. And so scheduling things can be very hard for me because I kind of feel like if my time is allotted in chunks or boxes, it's almost like that stifles my creativity. And, you know, there are moments where you're very inspired to work on something and very passionate about something. And in those moments, you just don't stop. You, it's, you appreciate those moments when you've got them. And so you, you do it and you go for it. And that kind of stops and throws out any plans out the window and things like that. So I've always found it pretty difficult to schedule things and, and be good about planning them. And I think that kind of lends to the consistency issues that I've had as well. But 
everything in life is a balance and hopefully at some point I will find a better balance for it and maybe some help behind the scenes will help that out. I'm not sure. But anyway, thank you for making it this far into this video. I know I've been just kind of ranting about stuff, but uh, if you actually did make it this far, it must mean that you must like the channel a lot. And so I am so incredibly grateful to those of you who are still around and who look forward to the videos that I post. Uh, it means the world. It means everything. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this one. Thank you for sticking with me. I hope that you'll look forward to the future content. Be sure to let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Maybe what you're most excited to see from this channel. Maybe uh, even what you subscribed for and what you're hoping to see more of. Because I would definitely love to kind of keep stock of that and make sure that I am giving you guys exactly what you want. Because, you know, that's important too. Uh, in this whole process. I also have pages and pages of notes of videos and stuff that I've promised and wanted to get to but just haven't yet. So hopefully at some point I can start producing content faster and at least get to some of those ideas for later on. But with that said, that's going to be the end of this one. Hope you'll stay tuned. I'm going to try to get a video out next week. Famous last words, right? Um, but if I could do one a week at least, I, I think that would be at least a better start than what I've got going on so far. But like I said, thank you so much. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Be safe.